Sometimes I like to be a little secretive where I am, but not today. Not today. Today, I'm on Lake Max and Kucky in Culver, Indiana, and guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a blast with some all about bands. mouth doing? Screwing up my party. That's no good. He's a nice little post-spawn largemouth bass too. You can tell he's post-spawn because how skinny he is. Skinny is all get out. Right there on the tube. And on the tube you're gonna see me throwing this out today. It's an outstanding post-spawn bait for smallmouth and largemouth for that matter. I am fishing a flat on the lake and I say a flat because what I mean by a flat is that the the contours, it doesn't break off. The depth doesn't do this. It just kind of stays like this, real slowly tapering a little bit deeper. And I know there's fish cruising around here. There's some weeds out here. And that's going to be the first of many, but we'll see if we can't have a blast with some mouth bass. I want some small ice today. Well, these large mouth are ruining my small mouth parade here. Oh, we got an all right fish now. Yeah. You know, I think it's time I just give up on the small mouth. And just turned this into a largemouth post pond video. <laughs> Holy moly. Just, uh. I'm definitely catching some largemouth just dragging us too. You know, there's not much wind out here. I think if we had more wind, it would really help the bite. These fish would be more active, uh, in particular, maybe the smallmouth. But I can tell you, on these flats where every single fish has been, they are sitting next to the weeds. Every one of them. And it makes more sense with largemouth. I've I've covered everything in between shallow, deep, weeds, no weeds to, to try to hone in on some smallmouth. But these largemouth are clearly up against these weeds, which is not at all uncommon for the post spawn. You know, they're either there resting or they could be guarding their fry as well. Oh, shoot, this one ain't oh my gosh, John, I got a smallmouth. I'll tell you back, yep. Yeah. Having a blast with smallmouth bass. Oh, he loves it. Can I Gary Fry this thing? Yeah. Why not Gary Fry it? Well, finally. Finally. Oh, he's hooked perfectly. And he, he does not look like he's even spawned. But what a beautiful fish. Oh. We got a Another large mouth where there should be a small mouth. He thinks he's five pounds. He's... Oh, did you see that? And that's how you land him. Right out here in the flat, around weeds. Really starting to get dialed in to what these fish are doing. They're just out in these flats hanging around the weeds. Now the thing is, not every weed's holding fish. You can't really call your shot right now. But when you find some weeds, on the flat, anywhere between, let's say, six and nine foot of water, I'm just kind of snapping my tube through it, working my tube through it. And when I came here today, I really thought it'd be a smallmouth show. Smallmouth would come out to play a little bit, but these largemouth are really just taking, taking, the, taking the spotlight. We're having a blast with the smallmouth bass. Oh, he don't want to give up. Yeah. You can't tell me catch and release doesn't work. That's my hook mark. Then you see where the other hook was. Someone else caught him. 
Probably today, or yes, yeah, probably yesterday or day before. Catch and release worked, baby. That small, that small mouth is right on the point. That small mouth came right off of them bluegill beds there. Oh, the flat, and there's some weeds over there. Through my tube over there is actually, actually quite textbook. Almost like, oh man, that should be a fish there, cast there, boom, there was. Right on that point. Quality, quality time. And I just keep ruining my day. It's a bad problem to have when you're catching largemouth bass when you want smallmouth, huh? Really tuned into this tube by Extreme Bass Tackle. It's a Formula G3 color, is what he calls it. And I got a quarter ounce bite meat tackle tube jig inside. There's a promo code down below in the description to save you money if you're looking for any kind of bite meat tackle products. There's a weed bed out here right along the edge and uh, I saw it I'm not on it I can see it with my perspective out in front of me and I just cast my tube in there popped a couple times and there's fish oh my gosh did you see that oh oh shoot did you see it oh, I hope you saw it oh my gosh as I brought that tube out of the water this fish literally jumped out of the water to get it. That is awesome. <laughs> yes. Hey, is it is it okay to say I'm having a bass with a large mouth bass? Does it have to be small mouth? Because I'm starting to really like these largies. Ah, that was exciting. The bite has clearly gotten better as the day has progressed. And I think it's a combination of, one, I kind of got to feel what's going on out here, but number two is definitely the weather. It was very calm out here this morning, glassy, calm. And now we've got a really nice south, southwest wind coming out of here, and that's probably helped the bite for sure. You know, something to keep in mind when you're fishing flats like this for these small mouth, that, or large mouth, and I don't care if it's pre-spawn or post-spawn or summer patterns, is there's there's not a huge it's not a huge massive bed of weeds out here there are sporadic weeds throughout and some rock and such what I, what that means is it is really easy for these fish to move they want to move 100 feet they can so just because i'm catching them in one area today does not mean they'll be there again doing the same thing tomorrow there's a chance of it definitely but something small like a wind shift could completely change them and move them 100 feet 100 yards one second i'm about to set the hooks Good luck, Tanner. Oh, we got a small mouth. Hey, let me put you down just a second. Don't hang up. We got a small mouth bass. On the phone with a fellow YouTuber, Tanner Banks. And here I am having a blast with small mouth bass. See the shirt? See the shirt? Ah. I'm going to turn on that spot lock so I stay in place. Because when I land, I'm going to get back on the phone. And that's the beauty of the spot lock. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Yes! Yes! Ah! Oh, he got me all wet. Shame on him now. That's what I'm talking about. There's quality fish. Tanner Banks is good. Good luck. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Down in the, that description below, I'll put all sorts of things. Like all the baits I'm using, promo codes, save you a few bucks. Uh, and be in Lake Maxcookie. I've got several videos from Lake Maxcookie, and I'll put links to that, to those videos as well. So tons of information down there in that description for you. We're having a blast with small mouth bass. Come here. Come here. Oh, you big body guy. Body guy, yeah. Look at a little spot right on him. They distinct. Ooh, he ate that. That down there is throat. Just all the confirmation I need that definitely throwing the right bait. 
little black spot of his. Five years now and I catch him and he's five and a half pounds, I'll be able to remember him. Like, yeah, I got you before. Let me my, show you my tube setup. I, got, I know I've mentioned it's green bass tackle tube. It's formula G3 color scheme. That's a quarter ounce bite me tackle jig head. Tube jig head, I should say. Just squeeze, slide it on up the tube. Now what I got, I got eight pound fluorocarbon here, but it's attached to 10 pound braid. And that 10 pound braid, power pro, find it, I attach the two lines right here with a Alberto knot. My rod of choice is a custom made rod by Yoder's Custom Rods, and I know it's pink, everybody makes fun of me, but this thing casts the mile and, and it's it's strong and you just saw me just kind of sling that small mouth in here can't do that with a flimsy rod my action here is a seven foot and it's medium heavy my reel is a shimano stratic 2500 series and you've seen how i work this bait throughout the video uh, but pay close attention my goal is to really work it slow and to keep it on the bottom that's the biggest goal to keep my bait scooting along the bottom i believe this color works so well for two reasons number one i think the fish out here eat a lot more perch than uh, most anglers believe and this mimics the perch a little bit more than say green pumpkin or watermelon but also it's a lot of sand out here very uh, light colored bottom and all of our caught ads no matter what body of water you're on they're going to camouflage themselves a little bit to the bottom contour so i think this mimics that bottom a little bit better well the tube has definitely been the deal today reality is though i should never come to a place like this post spawn and just think oh the tube's going to work every single day it, it is working today the reality is there's probably other baits that would work but once i got that tube thing going i hey if it ain't broke don't fix it kind of mentality is what i had but i had some other baits ready to go today and i want to share them because the reality is like i said earlier that these fish can move and so can their attitudes i have a tournament out here in 72 hours so i gotta be prepared for a change in their mood and and i'll have a, a ned rig bait it's another one of my favorite post spawn smallmouth bass baits um my ned rigs are made by my baits i should say are made by yoder's custom rods and the jig head is called the jackpot by bite me tackle another one of my all-time favorite baits of all time period not uh, two reasons too number one they catch a ton of fish but number two they got just the most awesome name is a monkey punch by Loch Ness lures and how I rig that is I'll take a shaky head ball head by bite me tackle and I'll come right down the middle and here's why I do something that's a little bit different now instead of going straight through like this I'm gonna turn it sideways so it's like this and now I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it because now that's going to keep my bait in better shape. And I will be prepared with this, probably a green pumpkin or green pumpkin magic is it my favorite color of theirs, and with this quarter ounce. I also lost an expensive spy bait this morning on a hook set. I lost all sorts of fish on hook sets, but this is another one of my favorite post spawn baits for smallmouth bass. I'll definitely have this thing ready, especially as they're eating minnows. And I did see them at times chasing bait. And this is a, it's a great bait if the bite is slow and you think you're eating minnows or actually you could actually burn it through an area where you know they're eating minnows. Fishing flats like it was this morning, a topwater bait is always a great choice and a Zara spook style bait. This is made by CYC Lures. I had two blobs on this morning, I missed both. So with the exception of the tube, I screwed up everything this morning. Post spawn fishing doesn't have to be about all the blues. It was a bit of a struggle this morning, it was slow, but then things got going. I figured out how to catch a whole bunch of fish. Not as many smallmouth as I saw, but still got plenty of them and a bunch of bonus largemouth. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, we're Hunter Fish. We'll see you on the water. Ow. Yeah, come here. Yeah, a little walleye like that, monkey bunch.